friends, it's Shan here. Welcome or welcome back to Golf with Shan. First off, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy whatever it is you are celebrating this holiday season. If you're not celebrating anything, celebrate yourself for making it through another year. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at our 24-hour layover in Singapore to conclude our Asia trip. So in the beginning of our trip, we were already in Singapore for a week and I made two videos exploring more like a local in the country where we went to different hawker centers, we visited botanic gardens, the zoo, so I will link those videos down below if you haven't checked out those videos yet. But today's video is going to be very touristy. We are spending our 24 hours before heading back to Canada in the most iconic spot in Singapore and that is Marina Bay Sands. I am so excited to share this with you guys because we are going to explore the hotel Marina Bay Sands as well as the gardens by the bay that are near the hotel. We stayed at the Marina Bay Sands Hotel for one night and I have to tell you with all the Christmas decorations up, the hotel was beautiful. It was in immaculate condition, everything was clean, the, the lights just really elevated the cheerful spirits. So I had an amazing time. Now I know some people say there are other hotels in Singapore, similar quality and maybe even better because you get a view of the hotel instead of staying inside Marina Bay but personally I haven't been to any of them so I can only compare it to what I have experienced and this hotel was 10 out of 10 I would highly recommend for everyone it is a little bit more expensive so maybe just do one night like we did let's take a closer look at our hotel room our hotel room is very spacious it came with this gigantic bed and we went with the view of the city so all the high-rises in the business district as well as an overlook of the city The hotel room also came with an espresso machine and two espresso pods. One was a Japanese espresso pod and one was Italian. I definitely tried them the next morning. In the bathroom are your standard toiletries as well as a high-end shampoo, conditioner, and body wash trio. After our bags arrived at the hotel room, we headed out for dinner in Chinatown. The hotel is attached to the metro, so Chinatown was pretty close by, and I will always prefer properly priced Asian food to elevated fast food. In Chinatown, we grabbed some sliced beef with chili oil, stir-fried beans, sausages, lamb skewers because I love meat on a stick, and a fan favorite, spicy chicken where you have to dig through the chilies to find the chicken pieces. Back from dinner, we headed upstairs to the Instagram trap. A AKA the most beautiful swimming pool I have ever been in. The infinity pool is located on the 57th floor and offers an infinite view over the city and the business district, especially during sunset and at night. One of the coolest experiences for me. When we were there, it was also the launch of the new Pokemon game, so here are some very cute drone art. Every evening, there is a water show calibrated to classical music. When you go down to the waterfront, you can watch it in person. We were able to watch it from the comfort of our hotel room. To end the evening, we headed out to Clark Key, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, an area with a bunch of bars and restaurants, and listen to some live music at a restaurant called Little Saigon. Let the Christmas decorations begin! The rest of this video will feature lots of Christmas decor, and I am here for it. As I mentioned earlier, Marina Bay Sands Hotel is attached to the famous mall and the metro downstairs. The mall has lots of high-end shops as well as really good restaurants. So for brunch, we headed to a restaurant called Tim Ho Wan. The original location in Hong Kong has a Michelin star, so I am super excited to try their dim sum. I love dim sum. Let's check it out. The food was absolutely delicious, 10 out of 10 would recommend, especially the sauce for these wontons. My family is from Chongqing, Sichuan region in China, and I have a soft spot for spicy wontons and noodles. Pork ribs are a personal favorite of mine for dim sum, and these egg yolk buns were soft and so delicious.
We did have to check out of our hotel room, but we were able to leave our luggage at the hotel and head out for the day. All right, let's head out and check out the gardens by the bay. You can't visit Singapore and not at least walk through the gardens. Literally everyone walking around the park is playing Pokemon Go. I just see them like, you know, that swipe up action and then the... <laughs> everyone just walking on their phones. It's so funny. Look at these people. We decided to check out two of the exhibits at the garden. First was Cloud Forest, which was Avatar themed at the time for the launch of the new Avatar movie. Next we went to the flower dome. This one was so much fun for me. I love plants. I love looking at plants, taking close up pictures of plants. I love plants. They make me happy. The flower dome holds the Guinness World Record for the largest glass greenhouse covered by 3,332 glass panels. In my previous video, we visited the Singapore Botanic Gardens, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So if you love plants as much as I do, Singapore is a must visit country. Let's look around. The flower dome is divided into regional sections. The main flower field section had all the Christmas decoration displays and I assume during other times of the year there are different flower displays. My favorite is the succulent garden. Succulents are the epitome of adorable in the plant world and I am here to see all of them. There's a Pokemon. After visiting the gardens, we headed out for a late lunch with a friend of ours at the East Coast Lagoon Food Village. This was one of the hawker centers that we hadn't visited in our first week here, so super excited to try it out. They also had a dish that we saw on YouTube, it's internet famous, and that dish is stingrays. I've never had stingrays before. I have swam with them when I was really little, and you do have to be really careful because, well, obviously they have that sting that's poisonous. So yeah, super excited to try that out and we were able to get it at this food court. The food court has some really good Malay food. I have come to learn that Malaysian sambal sauce is amazing and something I've been missing in my life. We got squid, 
oyster omelet, morning glory, and the famous stingray. It falls apart like fish, but the texture is a little more firm, kind of like crab meat except it comes flat. Finally, we got chicken wings and Malay skewers that were a bit too sweet for me, but they were still very yummy, I have to say. And that concludes our very touristy and tasty 24 hours in Singapore, staying one night at the famous Marina Bay Sands Hotel and exploring the nearby gardens by the bay. Make sure to check out my other two videos on Singapore for more Hawker Center and local recommendations as well as other touristy attractions. If you haven't already, again, they will be linked down below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy whatever you are celebrating, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!